Hello and welcome to this video which will give you a background to the Q Neural Network. With so many companies on the internet offering get rich quick schemes, it is sometimes very difficult for people to differentiate fact from fiction or separate the wheat from the chaff. This video will give you a thorough insight into the team and the technology that was needed to develop a state of the art neural network which has predictive capabilities for the forex markets. This is me. Kieran Murphy and I am the founder of Trading Signal Labs and I believe that it is important that I introduce myself and give you some background. I have nearly 25 years financial trading experience and I currently lecture part time with Trinity College Dublin in Implied Investment Management and Training. I was a floor trader on the Irish Stock Exchange and I was sales manager of the equity desk of a leading stockbroking firm here in Dublin and we were bought out in late 2003. I co-founded one of Ireland's most successful stock market training companies and sold this shareholding in 2006. Traders Now was established in 2009 whose aim was to develop an automated trading strategy that gave traders a statistical advantage in the marketplace. Trading Signal Labs is a subsidiary of Traders Now and was set up as the commercial entity to license the Q technology to traders like yourself. So in 2009, I set out to find an edge for trading the forex markets. But there is an investment theory called the efficient market hypothesis that states it is impossible to beat the markets because stock or forex market efficiency causes existing share or forex prices to always incorporate and reflect all relevant information. Most financial models that exist today are based on the efficient market hypothesis, so that posed our first problem. The most popular investment theory that exists states it is impossible to beat the market. According to the efficient market hypothesis, currencies always trade at fair value on the foreign exchange market, making it impossible for investors to either purchase undervalued currencies or sell currencies for inflated prices. As such, it should be impossible to outperform the overall market through experts' currency selection or market timing. But the efficient market hypothesis is flawed. If the markets always reflected fair value, then investors such as Warren Buffett would not consistently beat the markets over long periods of time. We only have to look at events such as 1987 stock market crash when the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell by over 20% in a single day. According to the efficient market hypothesis, this event should only happen every thousand years. So the efficient market hypothesis is flawed. And let's just look at the following graph, which will show the theoretical distribution under the EMH versus the actual distribution. Here we have a chart of the S&P 500 five-day returns from 1928 to 1989. We can see that under the efficient market hypothesis, the theoretical distribution of the S&P returns should be a nice, even bell curve with a short tail at the extremes. Now let's compare this with the actual distribution of the S&P returns which is shown as a dotted line. So something here is not stacking up. The efficient market hypothesis is flawed. Professor Jonathan Blackledge and I have written papers on this topic which have been published. And if you want to delve a little deeper, then we welcome you to download the white paper on our website. Jonathan's works are based on the fact that the efficient market hypothesis is flawed, and he had developed an algorithm that predicts future price trends for the market. Jonathan's algorithms were derived using a relatively new hypothesis called the fractal market hypothesis. When markets are considered stable, the efficient market hypothesis works fine. However, during panics and stampedes, the efficient market hypothesis broke down like it did in 1987 and 2008. This is not unexpected because the efficient market hypothesis is an equilibrium model. I then turned to a US company in Dallas, Texas, which was headed up by Sean Overton. 
Sean's company had a lot of experience in developing trading strategies for US corporates. His brief was to adapt the Q trading algorithm for the Forex market. After a lot of research and development work, we were able to measure the entry and exit efficiencies of our various algorithms to determine the strategy's characteristics. The Q algorithm on its own yielded a 75% exit efficiency, but we found the entry efficiency was only 51-53%. to Hence our strategy gave us a slight advantage, but not enough to cover trading commissions. So we had to expand our research. And we developed many ideas and concepts from Jonathan's work on the fractal market hypothesis. Over the following year, we expanded the toolkit dramatically. Although we started with the Q algorithm on its own, we were able to add seven other fractal tools that showed clear efficiencies in the market. After developing all these algorithms, we still did not have a trading strategy that gave us a statistical advantage in trading the markets and producing a consistent profit. The algorithms could not identify when we were to enter the market. So we made a big decision to go about developing a neural network. This was going to be a costly project and we were not certain of the outcome. First let me explain what a neural network is. An artificial neural network is an interconnected group of nodes akin to the vast network of neurons in a brain. There are several layers. The term neural network was traditionally used to refer to a network or circuit of biological neurons. The modern usage of the term often refers to the artificial neural networks which are composed of artificial neuron or nodes. The Q neural network is used for solving artificial intelligence problems such as predicting future price trends in the forex market. We trained our neural network using genetic algorithms. In the computer science field of artificial intelligence, a genetic algorithm GA is a search heuristic that mimics the process of natural evolution. Sometimes I'm asked if a neural network is the same as a conventional computer. No. Neural networks take a different approach to problem solving that of conventional computers. Conventional computers use an algorithmic approach, i.e. the computer follows a set of instructions in order to solve a problem. Unless the specific steps that the computer needs to follow are known, the computer cannot solve the problem. That restricts the problem-solving capability of conventional computers to problems that we already understand and know how to solve. But computers would be much more useful if they could do things that we don't exactly know how to do. Neural networks learn. A neural network is configured for a specific application such as pattern recognition or data classification through a learning process. Neural networks can derive meaning from complicated data. Neural networks can be used to extract patterns and detect trends that are too complex to be noticed by either humans or other computer techniques. A trained neural network can be thought of as an expert in the category of information that has been given to analyze. This expert can then be used to provide projections given new situations of interest and answer what-if questions. And so, we produced a Q neural network. It started with developing a suite of proprietary algorithms that are based on the fractal market hypothesis. We feed these algorithms into the input layer of the Q neural network and this predicts a buy or sell signal for the currency pair in question. The neural network is designed with crisis in mind and this is very much the basis of the fractal market hypothesis. Trading signal labs have developed an approach that is much more effective for extreme market movements. This is a very important point to mention. Our system is designed to incorporate the wild scenarios in its planning. Many trading systems do not. Our system is designed with the idea of crisis in mind. So to sum up some key points of the Q neural network, we developed a toolbox of proprietary indicators that go into the network. The network uses a genetic algorithm to look for fitness among the indicators in the toolbox. The critical distinction between our neural network and others is that we do not optimize for returns, i.e. dollars in your account. 
The account balance is a negligible part of the neural network, so the only thing we throw away is something that doesn't make money. We optimize the network for risk and frequency. The goal of the neural network is to strike a balance between the everyday and the extreme. Research and development is key. Our team innovate every day in researching and developing new algorithms that give us a better edge. So, make the decision to sign up today to one of the most advanced state-of-the-art forex trading neural networks, the Q.